we are here making a game for Big Fish, and we decided to cast Lars in one of the roles. He's done a few for us now, and the final product's always great. Hey, Lars, good afternoon and welcome. Um, so Hi. we're here for the, uh, the Trail of the Twister. Mm -hmm. The process is... Go ahead, and I want, I want to see what you brought. You want to see what I brought? Sometimes difficult. Uh, yeah, for Pa. I, I, I brought the, the lines. I mean... Uh, right. I, and he has great at voices. And we get what we need from him. Ma? Oh, she's around. Running errands and such. She, you know what? I, I actually have a problem with this line. Eventually. Okay. He's um, referring to Ma and, and mm -hmm. saying that, that Ma will be around. So Mom's, Ma's around, but he, he follows mm -hmm. it up with, with he's running, she's running errands. She can't be both. I don't... Well, well now she's running... I mean, I, she's it just, It's just very confusing. I mean, they're a lot of fun, and they're supposed to be just sort of lighthearted and goofy, but Lars takes it really seriously. Your research types with all your meters and sensors and recorders and such, chasing around here thinking you're doing something all big and important. Where's the craft? I mean, he shows up, and he's an expert on everything. You gotta pay for it in Pa's pennies. Now, what, what is this? You can't invent currency. That's illegal. It's, but I don't think he does any research. Well, we'll have our lawyers call. I, I think that you're going to find it very interesting what they're going to tell you okay. about a man right. making his own currency. At all. If you're not out chasing Twisted tonight, you should go... Why is she Why is she out chasing Twisters at nighttime? Right, but he's saying she's not if, you're, if she's not out chasing Twisters. Like, I know, but he's you just, can't see them. They make a lot of noise, of sure, but like... Yeah, but she's not chasing them at it, night. It she, applies she, precedent, okay? Well, I mean, they're, they're pretty big. They're, I, I understand they're very big, but it's not like they're made of light. You can't really see them very well in the well, dark. I mean, they do. They produce lightning. So that's she like, can chase them for one sixteenth of a second? It's, I don't know if... Let's we... move on! Yeah, I had to win an argument once by showing him a Wikipedia page, and he says he didn't trust it, because it can be edited. Go ahead, yeah. why, let's check it. I don't get service in here. I mean, I don't want to say that Lars is difficult, I just... So you're saying Pa is an imbecile? No. So you're saying I'm an imbecile? No, no, no. Then are you the imbecile? What's a stronger word than difficult? Look, I don't, I don't know who this other guy is, and I would appreciate it if he stopped talking. No, but don't get me wrong, it's all bluster. It always seems like there's this big problem, but it always works out in the end. I barely tolerate you talking to me, and like more than one person talking to me while I'm in here. I think it's just performance drama. That was great. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was perfect. Yeah, Thanks. I, I know, I, I don't really need you to tell me that I'm doing a good job. He's definitely an artist type. He talks a lot about being on a Broadway show. I don't think the thing that's holding us back here is me. I don't think he gets that that's only a big deal in New York. I just think it's kind of lazy writing. I mean, this is Seattle. Our Broadway's bars and gentrification. Why don't you just kind of bring me into the whole script making process? He has two copies of Catch-22. He talks about it a lot. I asked him why he had the second one and it was in case he wanted to read it again. That thing would be go a whole lot smoother. And like, I swear to God, that's a joke. So if something's really big, it's considered a monster? But he didn't laugh. What's a metaphor? or check that I got it. Or we're just making stuff up in the booth then, huh? He's really sincere. He was weirdly sincere. Saying how bad a twister he is. You know, F1, F2, F3, and such. See, can we stop? Every project, there's always one problem performer. I have to stay true to the character that I'm playing. Right now I'm playing Pa, and Pa doesn't know about computer keyboard commands like F1, F2, um, F3. F1? through F5 are our categories like why, why is he, of Why is a character in the using... game pointing out like the buttons that the person needs to press? So, uh, no, these are these are categories. What would be the motivation for the character to break the fourth wall? He's having them match the category of the twist. There's no such thing as a category of keyboard buttons. Every time. It's like karma. Always happens. Okay, they're, but they're not keyboard commands. I mean, if you look... They are them, so see. commands on the keyboard. I see them every day. I, no, no, I, I'm not... I I'm know not. enough about stuff to that. The great thing with Lars is we always know who it's gonna be. It takes the guesswork out of it. I even know your cell phone number, miss. What, why, why is this old man swapping uh, digits with this tween? Well, he's not, he's not swapping them. He already, he knows the problem. The implications of this is, this is a dark turn. To me, it, it implies. Isn't it, isn't also a, a problem to, to, I mean, I'm, I'm literally saying her cell phone. Uh, she's not a real person. It goes somewhere then. Like someone's gonna answer the phone. That's what we use 
in games and movies and stuff for fake cell phones. It has the same amount of numbers as, as any other number. It has. See how the second set of numbers is 555? Five, five, five. I took algebra too, okay? To be honest, I just pawn him off on one of the segment producers and let him deal with it. Let's do that. Um, sure, let's do that. Yeah, Why let's... not? I think ultimately the best way to trick Lars into giving you the best delivery is when he's refusing to say something, ask him to say it the bad way to prove why it's bad. He totally will. Yep, we're gonna keep that one. That one's great, that's perfect. Okay, that was a joke, mostly. Other tricks with Lars, uh... <clears throat> a little bit over these kids' heads, so... Well, listen, Voltaire, that's, that's not a okay? Really... I don't... Can I, can I just... I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry, Lars. Hi. Hi. You got a call from your, your agent? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess you didn't get cast in Blunt Talk? Yeah, apparently calling Patrick Stewart up personally and doing a fake British accent didn't land you the gig like you thought. S sorry. I, I don't know why it was so... In I'm sorry. I I'll get out of here. All right. So, do you want to take this last line? Y yeah. Great. Yeah, that, that would... Uh, yeah, of course, actually. Um, what else do you need? That was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that was perfect. That, that's actually, like, literally uh, the line, and also um, uh, I question to you. What else do you need? <laughs> I think we're good. Oh. I no think we're... Line. Yeah, we oh, okay. Well, no, we um, we well, this is fun, guys. Line. Great. Hey, thanks. All right. Yeah, you guys, we'll, uh, you guys take we'll care. Call you. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna recycle this for you. Okay. Great. Great. You don't. You probably. I'm gonna. You don't have to throw this away. I got it. So he's allowed in the building. Yes. You're, does he know that? Yeah, he's allowed in the building. 